More than 6,500 votes have already been cast. That's an early turnout of more than 7%, split between vote by mail and early voting. It's too late to return a ballot by mail, but if you have one at your home you requested, you can fill it out and drop it off in person. Mary Ann Hastings brought her ballot into the Supervisor of Elections office today. The Gainesville resident says she's never missed voting in a local election. You can just, you know, put it in here and you don't have to worry about or whether it's going to get there on election day if you actually mail it. Hastings says vote by mail makes voting as easy as possible for as many people as possible. She encourages everyone to vote in every election. Last spring, a runoff slot for a city commission seat was decided by less than 100 votes. And so if anybody thinks that they, your, their vote doesn't make a difference, it really does. You just, I mean, the empirical evidence is there. Multiple Gainesville residents have stopped by today to drop off their vote by mail ballots. It is now too late to send it in by mail. Last year's turnout for the Gainesville spring election was about 14 percent. It looks like turnout for this election is pretty much on par with what we saw for the last election. Uh, so we're hoping that more people choose to come out on election day. Traditionally, city turnout for elections is very low. If you're voting tomorrow, double check your precinct. They'll be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Marianne's prep work included following local news and debates between the candidates. If I say things are important to me, then I need to take some action about that. At WUFT.org, you can find the profiles of all six candidates that are running for mayor and two more in District 4. Search Roundtable and you can listen to their responses when they came to our studios for a roundtable of questions. Maggie DeRosiers, WUFT News.